Gaff, that was a tough sack and a half for Burnley. Yeah, um, it's been a couple of times this season. It's a head scratcher because first half I thought we were excellent. Um, you know, against a side of this calibre, I thought we were we were really good, strong, uh, defending strong. Our shape was good, our basics were good. Found chances as well. Arguably, should be one 0 up at half time. And then we come out, give away a really soft goal, and for the next ten minutes, we we just lost our way completely. All of the good things we've done in the first half, we just stopped doing. And and against these sides, you can't do that. You know they've got real quality. We know that, and they can affect the game very quickly, and they did. James, tough second half. That. Yeah, very tough. Tough first half, to be honest. Um, we brought our shape and distance first half really good. And then one decisive moment where they get their first goal, it just changed the game completely, and it was over ten minutes later. Um, and we're better than that. We know we are. Um, but if we could have, could have kept up that first half performance, I thought we were right in the game and a couple of big chances first half too. Crazy sort of eight minutes when they scored three times that, that changed the game. Yeah, it did. I mean, we need to do better on, on all of them, really. Uh, with the players they've got, we need to be doubling up in the box and defending together. Um, we have been a little bit individual in the box and it's, it's so hard to play against 1v1. Um, I'd say we, we, we have been better than that recently. Um, in first half, we we're really good. So it's just a shame within that 10 minutes it was over. A madness by our standards because we normally stay calm, we normally keep to the basics of what we're doing. We did it so well against Manchester United here and got ourselves a nice point um, just by staying in it and making sure we were diligent to our roles and our jobs. Um, and we just lost sight of that for, for, like you say, seven or eight minutes. And and like I say, if you open up against these teams and you lose, lose the, the fact you were doing the basics so well, they've got real quality and they showed that. It was a reminder, I suppose, those eight minutes that they are world and European club champions. No, of course. Look, I mean, there is a reality to every game and, and sometimes that is, but... But on the other hand, we, we've, we've made a good show of ourselves playing against this type of team. And I, I thought we did for the first half. I thought it was, a, it was a, the game plan, everything that we, we thought about the team was, was really good. They delivered it very well. Um, so my, my head scratching moment is eight minutes where we just lost sight of all that. And we kind of gathered ourselves a little bit and we, we created a couple of chances after that. But by then the game's gone. You know, it's very difficult. You know, I think they've only conceded 18 this season. So if you let two or three in, you, you know, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough job trying to get back in the game. Um, no lack of effort, but just a lack of the, the discipline to do the basics, which we've done so well in the first half. I mean, they're one of the best teams in the world at the minute, so it's not easy. Uh, but you, you, we show first half that we can easily stay in the game with defending as a unit and getting our shape and distance right. And then when that doesn't go to plan like, like we usually do, you see how uh, costly, costly it could be. No bed me today. What's the news on the skipper? Yeah, we'll wait and see. Hopefully he'll be back next week. But I must say, Nathan delivered a good performance again. It's, it was a collective eight minutes, to be honest. It wasn't about uh, individuals. It was a collective eight minutes where we just lost sight of everything we'd done in the first half. But we've got to take that form from the first half into the remaining games. Yeah, and I think... You know, it's one of them strange situations. We let one go on Tuesday, I thought. You know, we weren't far off it, but we just let the game go past us, uh, bypass us. Today was a different thing. You know, we, we, we just had a terrible eight or ten minutes and teams like this, they hurt you. So we can't forget the previous seven to that because they were very good, very strong performances. But we've got to remind ourselves, and this will remind us, that you've got to be right all of the time. If you step off doing the basics in this division, you can get hurt. It's big 12 games to come now, but they've got to take the form from the first half into those 12. Yeah, I mean, our, the points we've picked up in recent weeks has been really good. Um, it's just been a tough last couple of games for us, but we've played a lot of games in a short period and we, we haven't got a, a, lot, a lot of bodies just to, just to be thrown on the pitch all the time, so it's not easy. So a good week to rest, recover and prepare ourselves for a big game next weekend. Yeah, it's Brentford next Saturday, isn't it, that they've won today, but still within reach of Burnley. Yeah, of course, it's in, it's in our hands and that's, what we, it, it, that's the way we'd like it to be. So um, we have to prepare right, um, get people ready to go again next weekend. And, and we always fancy ourselves because we, we, we're in a decent run until the last couple of games, so we can easily turn that around.